so they had like a council even then. Yeah, what life should be in respect to existence. And this is when uh, the turtles start coming out of the water. And this is where we see these seashells. At first, as it starts coming up. And then we start to see the dinosaur age. Yeah. And the creatures as they turn into the gullies. The new world is pretty much the gullies, the water. So anyways, like you could carbon date a turtle coming out of the water from the sea turtle. And as he entered the environment, a different environment, he began to adapt. And this is where we began to see the differences between turtles until you get to uh, the garden turtle, yeah, which is uh, like the gentlest creature, yeah, but yet carries the time on his back, yeah. So when they say, when they said that the history is written on the turtle's back, there's many ways of looking at it. When you look at uh, what you call it, the uh, seashells, the one you blow on, if you look at it, you un if you were able to unravel it, then you would see the wampum belt. Uh -huh. You know, even this, this is like what nature has written on every single creature is that they carry their wampum, the colors of their the creatures. You know. The plumage is like the beadwork that the Creator has put in there. And this is where <coughs> the beginning, on a turtle island, when things, the vision started to turn, that man had to leave because he, he didn't feel good yet. He didn't want to affect the other people what he was going through. And so he had moved along. And this is where he ended up. And uh, the problem that he had was that he was having nightmares and he couldn't sleep. This was uh, his vision of what was happening. So one day he had a, uh, just before he, he went to sleep, he didn't want to sleep anymore. And a spider came. And that shocked him so much that he went into his nightmare again. The creatures start coming. And uh, <clears throat> the, what, it, what he had seen was the spider in the other world. And uh, he invites him to sleep on a bed that he had made for the man. So he had to pick up his truss to listen to him. And he went to sleep. So when he went to sleep, he seen a woman cooking. So seen the woman working. Yeah. Seen the children playing. And I seen the man coming home with the uh, food, yeah. existence. Yeah. And this is what he had seen in his community. Yeah. The balance, existence, life. Yeah. And uh, so when he woke up, he seen all the spiders, all the insects, in, like the, t uh, the spider had made a, a web around him and uh, the flies and the insects that kept him awake during the night was what was his given, um, giving him nightmares. And through the teepee hole, this is what he sees, the butterfly, the liberty, freedom. Yeah. That's the story of the 
spider web. It's all the emotion combined together that creates the existence and the life forms of every creature and everything that's put together. So if we were to look in the, like God's eye, what we would see, yeah, what was his intent, what did paradise look like? everything that is beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyways, that would be like the beginning of everything. Yeah. So you got your Genesis and then you got your world view yeah. and so on. So this is a, like all recorded through native stories and the native stories what it looks like is that the Algonquins are older than a parcel. The Ojibwe is older than another parcel. Uh, Tikimek is older than another parcel. Navajo are older than another parcel. The scale on a fish. One scale doesn't tell the whole fish. It doesn't the whole fish. It takes the whole fish, uh, the, all the scales, all sizes. So the sacred wampum is all nations. <laughs> all nations. All nations. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I'm just holding a story of evolution. It's just like that turtle coming out of the water and adapting to each setting, to each environment. Yeah. So anyways, this is how we evolve and we carry our own package, our own bag. So once we start putting all these bags together, yeah, then you see the uh, the world constitution, the world vision of all existence should be. Yeah. I just hold part of the key, that's all. Hmm.